The potassium permanganate and glycerol reaction, uh, a famous one students have often seen. The reaction of uh, potassium permanganate with glycerol, uh, it's quite an exothermic reaction and it's also a redox reaction where the glycerol is oxidised and the permanganate is reduced. I get a little bit of potassium permanganate, um, I grind it up in mortar and pestle, mm, don't smash it, but just sort of grind it up a bit and get like a, a little coffee tin lid or something like, something simple like this. Um, and just put a little pile in there, make a little bit of a well in the middle for the, the glycerol to eventually get dropped in. You place it on a tin lid like this and you add a few drops of glycerol. The reaction sometimes takes a few seconds to get started, so don't be worried about that. Um, but it will get started, so give it uh, a good 30 seconds before you check to see if there's any issues. If you've ground it up sufficiently, a good five seconds or so, you'll start to see the glycerol start to spread throughout the well and then hopefully you get a nice big um, purple flame, like a, a light lilac flame, which is signifying the presence of potassium. And so you can ask your students, oh, you know, well, look at that colour flame, um, if they've seen any of the, um, if they've seen potassium in, in a flame before, hopefully they recognise the colour. Uh, you can actually grind up the permanganate, the potassium permanganate, into um, different sort of uh, sized particles to have a comparison or talk about a comparison of reaction rates based on the size of the solid particles. It's quite an interesting uh, reaction uh, because you know there's no ignition source. You can do this in a fume hood by the way, um, you don't have to but I would, I would do it in a fume hood. You get a brown residue forming on the tin. If you get the brown residue and put it into some water you'll actually see that the water turns green and there's still a brown residue take some of that brown solid and drop it in um, some water and they get a nice a, a light green solution as well um, signifying the presence of both um, the manganese 4 as a solid but also the, the green manganese 6. Um, so a, again another little colour change you can see um, from this reaction.